Hello, Raptors, and welcome to Montgomery College. This is the new student meeting for dual enrollment students for the fall 2021 semester. As a Montgomery College student, your record begins now. You will earn college credit for college work, and you are responsible for your registration, application, and other college processes. So what is covered in this meeting? The fall 2021 modes of instruction, check the mode you're registered for, student tools in your MyMC account, how to access Blackboard in your Montgomery College email, textbooks and Z courses, getting ready for the first day, and tips for a successful semester. MC modes of instruction for the fall 2021 term. The mode of instruction can be found in the class schedule and is specific to the CRN you selected. Distance learning. Class will not have any meetings. Students will complete all work online by themselves according to published deadlines. Structured remote. Class will require virtual meetings one to three times a week in addition to individual online work. Attendance is not optional. Instructions will be delivered through Blackboard and or Zoom platforms. Hybrid, career tech courses that have specialized equipment will require some in-person meetings. Remaining work will be done online. And face-to-face, -face. class will meet on campus on the days and times listed in the class schedule. Identifying modes of instruction in the class schedules for distance learning and structured remote classes. Students should read all the notes attached to the course schedule for important information. Students should check their schedule to make sure their college schedule does not overlap with their high school schedule. And you should contact the dual enrollment office as soon as possible if there are any scheduling conflicts. Identifying modes of instruction and class schedules for hybrid classes. Hybrid classes are required in automotive, automotive mechanics, building trades, and health sciences program. Identifying modes of instruction for class schedules for in-person face-to-face classes. It will give the campus, the building and room number, and in many cases, the instructor. Accessing your MyMC account. You will be able to access important information and accomplish many tasks by accessing MyMC. This is your student electronic account. You should have access your MyMC account already. If you do not remember how to log in, then use the Find My MC ID and Reset Password to help. If you continue to have problems, then you can contact the IT Service Desk. Student Tools and My MC. Blackboard is the platform for online teaching. Many, but not all, faculty will make the class available on Blackboard about a week before classes begin so you can access the syllabus and become familiar with the platform. For distance learning classes, many faculty will have required activities in the first week that you must complete, so do not delay going into Blackboard. Again, if you have trouble or need assistance, you can contact the MCIT service desk at 240-567-7222. Your MC email account. Every MC student has an official college email account and the college uses it to communicate with you. 
You are required to check your MC email regularly for all college communication. Professors may not respond to personal email addresses. Go to My MC to set up your account and learn how to forward MC emails to your personal email account. Student tools and My MC. You can see your schedule in the view my class schedule icon. You can also pay your bill and view your grades. The official grade is in my MC, not in Blackboard. Again, your official course grade is in my MC, not in Blackboard. College expenses and payment. If you have not paid for your college class, please do so now. You can pay online through your MyMC account. If you have applied for MC's dual enrollment high school grant, you should have received a notification from MC's financial aid or scholarship office. Applications received in the last week of submission may still be processing. Textbooks and Z courses. Students can find the required textbooks in their schedule. Look for the book icon. Students can order their textbooks through the MC Bookstore. You can also purchase textbooks from another bookseller, but please make sure that you have the correct edition. Grant recipients, please follow the instructions and deadline on purchasing your textbooks and the award notification you received. If you are enrolled in a Z course, your instructor will make textbook materials available via their Blackboard site or some other central location online. You will need regular access to the internet to download and read text materials. College expenses, withdrawing from a class. Check your MyMC course schedule for the last day to withdraw with a refund. Students must notify the dual enrollment office in writing of your intent to withdraw from a course. Also be sure to check the refund policy. That in writing should be in the form of an email sent to the dual enrollment office or sent to your dual enrollment academic coordinator. Non-attendance or non-participation does not relieve you from financial obligations associated with course registration. Be sure to check your refund policy and the withdrawal deadlines. Do you have an IEP or 504? IEPs are accepted in K through 12 only. IEPs or 504 plans from the high schools are not transferable to colleges or universities such as MC. Accommodations at MC may differ from those offered at MCPS. Students who would like accommodations for testing or in class should contact MC's Disability Support Services Office as soon as possible. MC, prof MC professors can only provide accommodations to students who produce an accommodations letter from MC's Disability Support Services Office. You should contact that office immediately as it may take up to six, week to six weeks to complete the DSS certification process. The first day of classes, you should be prepared with your textbook and supplies. Make sure you're on your professor's official class roster. Make sure you receive and understand the class syllabus. You should be sure to understand things like the class expectations, assignments and projects and their due dates, quizzes and tests, the grading system for the class, how to contact your professor, and the deadlines to withdraw. If you are not on the roster or wish to make changes to your schedule, please contact your high school DEPA or your MC academic coordinator immediately. You should review the syllabus carefully, and you only have a short time to, to drop a class and receive a refund. So please make sure you check your schedule through your MyMC account for those withdrawal and drop deadlines. 
throughout the semester, attendance counts, even in a virtual classroom. Understand that in many software programs, faculty can often see if you are logged on, how often you are logged on, and your activity while you are logged on. Make sure you come to each class prepared to participate. Make note of important dates and assignments. Follow your syllabus, keep up to date on assignments, and contact your instructor if you need help. Please keep in mind that MC faculty are allowed to drop a student from a class if there are excessive absences or inactivity, and it is not the professor's responsibility to contact you before dropping you from a class. So please make sure you are attending class, you are prepared, and you participate. If you need additional help, visit MC's learning centers um, to learn how to get virtual tutoring at our math or writing centers and to get help by subject. Data actually shows students who use learning centers early and often are more successful than those who do not. Tips for a successful semester. Find classmates who you can buddy up with. You are responsible for obtaining any missed information and you may be expected to submit your work even if you cannot attend the class. Excessive absences is defined as one or more absence than the number of classes per week during a fall or spring semester. So if your class meets two days a week, let's say on Mondays and Wednesdays, if you have three absences in that semester, that is considered at excessive absences and you may be dropped from the class. So please make sure you are attending your class regularly and again, you are prepared and you participate. Follow your class schedule. MC's fall 2021 semester begins Monday, August 30th. Check your schedule in my MC to see your start date. College classes remain at the same time, regardless of your high school schedule. Again, college classes remain at the same time, regardless of your high school schedule. Sign up for MC Alert to get text and email messages about MC's delayed openings or closings. Effective communication is key. So be sure that you take the initiative, communicate with your instructor. Professors want to hear from you, not your parents, not your counselor or academic coordinator or your DEPA. They want to hear from you. And be sure to use email effectively. Understand proper capitalization and punctuation. Include your name, your M number, and your class information. Don't use abbreviations and do not use texting language. And be sure to proofread before you hit send. Know your grade. Official grades are on my MC, not on Blackboard. Official transcripts can be requested from your MyMC account after final grades have been posted and you have fulfilled all of your financial obligations. Depending on the intent you stated on the MCPS dual credit refusal form, your MC grades may not appear on your MCPS high school transcript. As an MC student, you are bound by both the MC code of conduct as well as the high school rules in your college class. To view the MC code of conduct, you can go to www.montgomerycollege.edu and search code of conduct. We're here to support your success, your professors, your dual enrollment program staff, and your high school dual enrollment program assistant or your high school DEPA. Please be sure to take advantage of the services that are available to you virtually, the library, virtual tutoring, and the disability support services office for all class accommodations. So what makes a successful student? Successful students show up because attendance is critical, if you're going to be absent, make sure you notify your professor ahead of time. 
Successful students are prepared for class. They check the syllabus for assignments and they plan ahead for projects, quizzes, and exams. Successful students act like college students. They address professors respectfully and they are courteous to all professors and fellow classmates. And successful students ask questions as needed. Looking ahead for the winter and spring terms, registration begins in November. Course requests in dualenroll.com begins in October. Winter term runs from December 20th, 2021 through January 21st, 2022. The spring term runs from January 24th, 2022 through May 15th, 2022. If you are graduating from high school in the spring, you will need to change your status to a high school graduate by submitting an official updated high school transcript to MC's Office of Records and Registration. To continue as a dual enrollment student for the next semester, you must receive a C or better on all current college courses. Anyone with a D, an F, or a W may not be eligible to participate in dual enrollment for another semester. To continue as a dual enrollment student, you will need to request your new courses through dualenroll.com. You will need to provide an updated high school transcript for private school and MCPS students. And you also will need to fulfill your financial obligations for this fall semester. Have a great semester, Raptors. Our MC dual enrollment program staff are Mr. Akima Rogers, Associate Director of Academic Initiatives, Ms. Yolandra Johnson, Academic Coordinator for the Germantown Campus, Mrs. Yvonne Hukoto, Academic Coordinator for the Rockville Campus, Mrs. Angela Wright, Academic Coordinator for the Tacoma Park Silver Spring Campus, Mrs. Persis Johnson, Academic Coordinator for P-TECH and Middle College, and Mrs. Rachel Patton, Administrative Assistance. You can contact us on our website, montgomerycollege.edu slash DEP. Thank you and have a wonderful semester.